What's up, YouTube? Josh here. This is actually my latest project. I'm rebuilding an old HTC mechanical uh, brake press. I, let me rephrase that. I'm not rebuilding it. I modified it. So I bought this HTC uh, mechanical uh, brake press uh, off eBay. Got it real cheap. Sucker was actually dangerous way too fast. I was in. Uh, well, I don't even know where to start with this video because I've never shot a video like this. Um, but the thing was actually way too weak and also it traveled way too fast. I was actually traveling at three inches per second. That was way too fast. Uh, by the time you go to start bending your material, the thing would just whip up, cut, scratch your face, and that, that sort of thing. I've got another big, heavy, 150 ton mechanical brake press. That one was running at one inch per second. But this thing, uh, since it was too dangerous and too weak, uh, we actually uh, decided let's gut it, take off flywheel, take off the gearbox, take off everything. Completely gut it. So you can actually see the torch cuts. Well, how we actually got this thing out. Um, I then decided, let's go hydro, uh, hydro mechanical uh, design. Kind of based off of Iroquois, but not really. I have another HTC uh, shear that is actually uh, one cylinder, one hydraulic cylinder that would actually push and pull off this end and make my cams. Now, just to let you guys know, my ratios, uh, I've got a six inch to 24 inches on the cam. So that's a four to one ratio on leverage. So my goal is to have a 25, 25 ton cylinder convert this all down to 100 ton. I don't care if I have a 20 ton cylinder, as long as I get above 75 tons, that's my ultimate goal. Now, just to show you how this thing works, uh, since I had to mount my beams above on top of this, I needed to do that so my cams had more clearance. Uh, if I mounted those things lower, my cams would eventually hit the sidewalls and not, I would have reduced my travel. So I decided, let's mount it higher. It gives me more pivot room for my actual cam. Uh, next thing, uh, everything on this thing is uh, my cams are made out of inch and a half plate. Uh, these straps are made out of one inch plate that are welded to two inch by two and a half inch square, uh, rectangle bar. So these things are nice heavy stuff. All my pins and pivot joints are actually uh, inch and a half uh, shaft material. So that's like 440 uh, uh, steel, stuff like that. Now, let me show you my operation. Again, this is only, I'm only halfway done. Next thing is they actually come and start installing the hydraulics. Now, with all this being done, I have 18 and a half inches of actual travel for the cams. So I'm going to go with an 18 inch cylinder. Um, yeah, I can't really, I can't go 24 inch, so there's no point in me going 24 or anything that they don't make an 18 and a half inch cylinder, but let's get to it. So right now this machine is actually in its top position. So only, where, only place to go is down. After all my travel is done, I actually have a 4 and 3 eighths opening of lift of the, of the actual ramp. There you go. So raise it back up so you can see this. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. Guys, I appreciate it. Later.